Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I decided to finally post another update. And this one being about hormone changes after a couple of months. So after seven, six, seven months to be exact. I see these posts all the time. So I figured I might as well just like jump on board and do one. Talk about my experiences, which are gonna be like basically the same, but whatever. So the first thing I'm going to start with is definitely, I guess, fat redistribution. So what I noticed firstly, we'll start from like the face was my face changed a bit. Like, like I was always kind of pretty as a boy and then hormones have just made me slightly prettier, which has been like, you know, pretty useful, like nothing to complain about, but like, you know, just little things like the cheeks getting more chubby you know, the, the jaw getting a bit more fat, stuff like that, and just like looking more feminine compared to masculine. So that definitely helped a lot. And then like, even for example, like what I used to look like is ridiculous in comparison. Ignore the dirty as fuck license, but like, this is wild. Like, ooh. insane, right? So, I mean, that's the old me. And this is the new me, and I really need to get that photo like updated to like, because like I get ID'd, right? And people are like, that's not you. Like, come on, come on. I'm like, yeah, it's me. It was a couple of years ago. Like, but that's even when I'm like presenting as a boy, it still gets like that. They're like, oh, you look different. Your skin's much nicer. I mean, like, fuck, that's a compliment, right? But yeah, on to the next one. So, Breast obviously started growing like a good amount. Like I have no idea how much I'm going to grow, but like I might like I can create cleavage if need be. Like they're there, they show. I mean, like if I wear a too tight a shirt, I just look like I got like mad man boobs. But I mean, it's good they're growing, so I can't complain. And the areola changed, like obviously it does. But like I had small nips before, now they're like decent sized nips. Like shit, can't complain. Then beneath that, my waist definitely changed. Like I went in more slightly, like definitely less thick around the middle, but still like thick, but like less thick, which is good, but like less, you know, less of a waist. And then onto like thighs, definitely got thicker. Like I had skinny legs and now they're thicker. Like not like thick with two C's, but like they're, they're decently thick. And I had like no bum before and I got a booty. So like it's, you know, it's working out pretty well, like, no complaints there. But other than that, not too much. I mean, like, maybe flabby arms, but can't help that shit. Um, next one's hair growth. So, definitely, like, lessened, but I got heaps of laser in the last, like, seven, eight months. So, I really don't know if it's the laser doing it or if it's, like, the hormones, but, like, I am mad. I hate hair. So, like, we, we Gucci, like, getting rid of that shit. And I have noticed that some of the baby hairs around my hairline came back. Like, I'm like mid twenties into like receded a bit, but it's like coming back and I'm like, oh, I guess that's good. I mean like, as a one thing, what's good, like, damn. Um, another weird thing I noticed was definitely my eye shape changed, got way more feminine. Like the, the hoods got smaller, which is weird, but it works really well. So I'm at like, I enjoy makeup look, so more like lit space is really good um what else did i notice mental state definitely changed so i definitely went from being super cut off and level-headed all the time to being a bit more emotional so like when i'd get sad i'd get really sad and even like dysphoria when it hit it wasn't it's not easy to cope with it's it's so much harder now like it hits like a motherfucker and you're like bruh Woo. Pick me off the floor and I'm done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's very intense, very intense. And then, um, it's good. It's good to be like in touch with my emotions because I've never really been in touch with them. It's always been just there on the side. I've been like, eh, don't care for this, don't care for anything. So it's nice. Like, I definitely don't get as full of rage as I used to. And definitely like, more reactive to getting sad than angry, which has been really good, I guess. Like, it's better changes. 
Because being angry is not worth it. Like being like full of rage is disgusting and it's toxic. And it's good not to have that anymore. Um, and I'm definitely like more more empathetic towards people. Before I was like a bit of a cut off bitch. And I was like, it's your life, your problem. But now I'm like, I got you, fam. I got you. But even with all that, in these six months, I'd say like more importantly, I learned, I practice makeup heaps more than what I used to. And I think that made like a good difference. And even like hair, like styling it, all that got better. Um, definitely laser hair removal helped heaps. Like even like, you used to have the worst experience with facial hair. Like I'd beat a face and then half an hour later, by the end of it, there's stubble coming through, shows in photos, etc., and it was, it was really bad. So it's, it's much nicer having those things done and even a good skincare regime. Like those four things helped just as much, if not more than the hormones, like in the scheme of things. But I guess we'll find out in the long run what the hormones do and don't do. Um, but if you want to keep following my journey, subscribe, up to you though. But if you want to see where I post more frequently, Instagram's down below and whatever. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys on the flip side. Bye.